Oh, we buried poor Fred because he was dead. A beautiful sermon was read out. But his poor widow Maud said she couldn't afford a nice stone, so we just left his head out. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, good evening, or good morning. Welcome, once again, to Creepy Cheapies with Dr. Lady, where we look for the best in uh, fine quality Halloween masks. I'm Dagwood Bumstead, and today's mask just happens to be really nice. Once again, really nice one here. It's Stripe the Gremlin from the 1980s movie Gremlins. 84, I believe, that was the specific year, wasn't it? I think 84. Anyway, it's Stripe from Gremlins. Now, there have been masks of uh, the Gremlins before. Don Post Studios had one out back uh, at the time of the movie in the 80s, and that one, very collectible too, but in my opinion, it must be said, this one, which came out in uh, 2016 by Trick or Treat Studios, this one, I believe, is the better mask. Yeah. The Don Post one was nice, but this one is just crazy. It just kicks all kinds of latex. And we'll give you a close look here. Now, this mask is right out of the bag. I didn't do anything to customize it or fix it up or anything like that. It comes from Trick or Treat looking like this. Look at that paint job. That paint job is amazing for a production mask. You know what I mean? It almost looks like uh, an artist, uh, a private artist style paint job because it's so detailed and it has all the details in the right places and it's not uh, sloppy and rushed and unfinished looking. It really uh, sells the, the, the mask and really qualifies as a terrific collectible part of which is enhanced even by the fact that they have this nice Gremlins studio tag on here from the movie studio. Look at those eyes! Look at those teeth! That's just amazing! Are you kidding me? Uh, most private artists I know would charge you more just to paint this, including me. I would charge you more just to paint a mask like this than they charge you for the finished mask, which is around $70, around 70 bucks. Uh, maybe 65, maybe 80, somewhere in there. But neighborhood of $70, which is a pretty good neighborhood for something of this nice of quality. Also, I've only got a little bit of uh, wadded up baggage stuffed in there. So uh, I tell you that so that you can see it's not this big, limp, floppy, baggy thing that I had to overstuff to make it look good for video. No, it actually, with nothing in it whatsoever, it's, it holds its shape. I wouldn't leave it that way forever because it's better for the latex if you have it, you know, supported in some way. It'll last you longer. But you can just set it on the on the shelf like this and it stands up. It's such nice quality. I have seen more than one of these and they were all this nice too. So I don't think I just got lucky here and, and scored, you know, the best one of the batch or something. I think they're pretty consistent in this high quality. And he's got the stripe. As you can see, he's got, that's a uh, that's done with fur rather than uh, rather than hair, which is perfect. It's probably a better idea than doing it with um, crepe hair or whatever that would leave a, um, a glue line showing. This looks really good. If you do want to wear it, you might have noticed in the close-up there where you'd be looking out of is these little slits above stripe size and uh, between these rows of uh, bumpy little spiky things that he has. But shiny, glossy eyes, shiny, glossy teeth, Excellent, excellent paint job. Uh, just can't recommend this highly enough, you know? If there's anything I don't like about it, it's simply that it's a mask that's bigger than the character in the movie. You know, I'm not personally a big fan of masks of like creatures from Puppet Master or Chucky from Child's Play or anything where the original is small because I think I would rather have a prop that's life-size in the context of the movie. But if you want to have uh, a, a gremlin and be a great big gremlin who's bigger than the gremlins in the movie you just can't do any better than this and really if you paid a fortune for one I can't imagine it could be a lot nicer than this one of the best masks I think of uh, 2016 I believe is when it came out but it was still available as of the taping of this video segment so if you're a fan of gremlins and 80s horror and masks with cool paint jobs I highly recommend uh, every collection should have a Trick or Treat Studios Stripe. And that's your recommendation for this week. Your recommendation for next week is one I haven't decided yet, so stay tuned.